Hello everyone, it's Commander Kuzumbi here. Um, taking a quick tour of 2.4 beta, some of the new features. We've got mission board um, updates, we've got new variety, faster loading, um, more missions, um, updates to the passenger lounge as well, new rescue mission contacts, uh, supposedly better galaxy map loading, system map loading, longer route plotting, um, also the addition, uh, one of the cool things I want to check out is the repair limpet. I think it kind of makes uh, exploring a little bit more self-sustained. If you take a hit, you can fix yourself on the fly while you're out and about. Uh, another thing I want to take a look at is the new library. Um, yeah, supposedly we get a sneak peek at all the available options that are out there. Uh, even if you don't have them, you get a chance to see what they look like. I think that's a good move, Frontier. It's a good move. Anyway, uh, let's get started with the mission board. Supposedly, faster loading. Let's take a look. That's not bad. Uh, it was probably about half the time it used to take. Still a bit of a delay, but a look at how many missions it loaded. Four of 21. Holy moly. That's pretty awesome. So we've got a few options here. Obviously, um, in the beta, you get spawned in a station where there's a community or nearby where a community goals going on. Uh, so local rep here is not very high, but that's okay. So it looks like requirements not met, ships too large, but still 21 missions. That's pretty cool. Now the big question is. Are they going to be all over the place, as usual? And it sure looks like they are. There's not a lot of stacking opportunities to be had. It's not as big of a deal with regular missions, but with passenger missions, it sure seems silly. Uh, I would love to just pick a destination and uh, fill the cabins, uh, something. Uh, picking up one or two people here and there is kind of weird, especially if you have to do you know, a destination for each person or each group of people um, kind of makes Blue Galiner silly if you have to stack up 20 missions going to 20 different locations. Not very airliner-like, I guess. Um, yeah, the diversity is not too bad. Bunch of deliveries, mining. Not seeing a huge variety just yet. I mean, it's, it's, it's better. Camera missions, planetary scanning, assassination. It's not bad. I mean, that's I, this alone. This weight is so much better. <laughs> that is awesome. That's pretty cool. Uh, this looks like special dick. Special decal. This is the new community goal here for the beta. Ooh. One unit of the following materials from the Thargoid structure. Ooh. That might be fun. We'll have to check that out. In a little bit. Uh, so that was mission board. Let's look at passenger lounge. Again, pretty fast be fast. Uh, one of the new things in the mission details that's supposedly pretty cool, and there it is. Uh, if you look, you've got your system and the distance, but you've also got the port and the estimated uh, distance, and we can see clearly right here this would not be a mission I'd want to pick up. Not, well, maybe. Pay's pretty good, but you'd have to think about it. It's quite a distance from the uh, entry star. But the payout's good. And again, this is beta, so hard to say if that'll go down, but that's impressive payout. It's a toss-up, because that's a lot of time sitting doing nothing. It's one thing that drives me nuts about Elite. A little, little bit faster. <laughs> if you have to go that far <laughs> after going to leaving the main star, if you have to travel 23,000 light seconds, uh, a little bit more speed would be nice, because sitting there staring at the screen for 
probably almost 10 minutes or so. That's pretty boring. Pretty darn boring. But at least we know ahead of time. That is pretty cool. Um, yeah, definitely higher numbers here. Uh, obviously, none available. I, I don't have a, uh, any cabins installed on this anaconda at the moment. But um, there seems to be a lot more missions, uh, for sure. So that's that's pretty cool. Uh, let's see, contacts. We'll just work our way down the list. Ah, search and rescue agent. Interesting. So it looks like just the ability to turn stuff in. Black boxes, personal effects, escape pods, hostages, donate items. Interesting. Um, okay, uh, another neat feature that was supposed to be added. Faster galaxy map loading. Wow. Wow. Obviously, I had a route already plotted. I've. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I'd come in here before, but every time I click on it, it's still, still pretty amazing. Um, so another new feature in the Galaxy Map, as we can see here, uh, is the ability to show when you run out of fuel. So that's the new, let's see if I can, can we go down? There we go, Fuel Star. So that's pretty cool. Tells you your last scoopable stop instead of your last where you'll run out of fuel. That's pretty neat. Uh, supposedly plotting's a lot better. Um, it's supposed to be, obviously, they've increased the distance to 20,000 light years instead of 1,000 light years. Pretty big jump. Speed's pretty quick, especially close by. So let's see. About how far out are we? About 4,000 light years out. Plot route. That's pretty quick. It's impressive to think how much effort has to go into that. No! Let's go out a little bit. Just for fun, 10,000 light years. Ready? Go. <laughs> That's pretty cool. How far is it? 414 jumps. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of daunting when you look at it that way. Anyway, that's pretty cool. Uh, let's see. Systems map. Also quite impressive. Loads very quick. Let's try looking at a planet. Wow. That was pretty quick. Oh, that was bookmark. Did not mean to... Oh, you can delete. That's nice. Is that new? Has to be new. Local bookmarks. Galaxy map. There's always one thing that was always annoying. Oh, you can delete. You can delete the bookmark. From here. Oh, that's nice. That is a nice addition. Well, cool. Um, all right, next up. Uh, Hollow Me is supposed to have gotten some save slots. Which is kind of nice, because then you can try and make yourself look better. I think they added smiles. How much we want to bet they have it. Mouth. Customize. There's any smiles. Upper lip, blend type, man. So 
supposed to be a ton of new options in here. We'll have to take a look at that later. Accessories. Well, that's kind of nice. Eyewear. Huh. It's interesting. Some cool shades or something. Or paints. And I think I don't... I don't own any of these. I believe these are all... Yeah, so this is part of the new preview system that allows you to see the in-app purchases available. Okay. Uh, back. Save. Oh, look at that. Well, that's kind of cool. All right. Exit without saving. Well, that's nice. Some nice features. Uh, let's go into outfitting. Where to start? Um, first things first, let's add a big controller for house. Let's go to tanks, passenger cabins, prospecting. Nice repair limpets. It's kind of cool. Support multi crew. Huh. It's a neat icon. I would assume things that don't support multi crew. Yeah, don't have the icon. Well, that's kind of neat. Um, interesting. Boot time. Limpet life. Speed. You will transfer. Oh, that's fuel limpet. Well, that explains it. Repair limpet. I want to see how does it explain it. Max three. Repair capacity three ten. Is that like overall armor? Maybe. Gotta be. Three ten. So let's equip that. I change. 310, huh? So, theoretically, it's fire groups. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Stats. Armor health. Okay. So, if I have 1300, that's not bad. So, I would assume that a f larger class upgrades or repairs more. Bye. No, that's not where I wanted to go. That's new. We'll get back to that. Optional. Where is it? There it is. Grouse. Paralympic. Okay, so we're looking at 310. 310. Okay, it goes down by class. So, looks like fives and threes, at least available here. Okay, so the class affects not only how far, how many you can have active, but it also affects the repair capacity. So, higher class controller, more repair. Interesting. No tanks, passenger cabins, I don't see anything else. Alright. Well, let's go here and check out the new preview option. Um, this is kind of nice. I like the uh, the artwork. Or actually being able to see what you're looking at. So let's take a look at... We'll start here. Paint job. Now, I paid for some paint jobs. Let's see what the difference is. Okay, so gray means bought. Blue means not. I am in a stock HUD color, by the way. That's kind of cool, being able to see stuff before you... <laughs> golden. Interesting. Now I assume you can't... Obviously you can't apply it. Okay. Yep, can't apply it and actually look around. So all you get is whatever view it's set at. But this is it. There's no way to look around. As far as I can tell. This looks like, that little stack icon looks like it's 
Does that mean it's part of a pack? Must. Yep. So here's an individual. Didn't look like it applied that one. That's kind of neat. I mean, it's better than just hoping for the best, because I know some of these, when you look at them in the store, you're like, oh, that's awful. I think one of the ones I always thought looked awful was this one. It's a camo one, but when you actually look at it on the ship, it's it's quite different. It's not as pink as it appears in the preview, or in the thumbnails on Frontier Store. But, yeah, it's kind of nice. So, what else can we see? Ship name... Name plates. Alright. It's kind of cool. I, again, it's better than... At least you get to see it on your ship with your paint. Can we see... Yeah, there's decals. Let's look at spoilers. Hey, cool! I've not bought any ship kits. I personally think they're overpriced for what they are. And I have no intention of buying them anytime soon. But at least you can look. Ah, oh, returns to the top. That's annoying. Has it always done that? It has, hasn't it? Yes, yeah, this is the downside. It's like, okay. Is there a wing back there? Can we tell? I know. There's no way right up. Cruise around the ship and actually take a look, but again, better than buying them just to see them. Now at least we get a chance to just take a sneak peek. Let's see what else we got. Dashboard. Dashboard. String lights. What are string lights? We're we gonna get like Christmas lights for the cabin? That's really weird. Oh, okay. Why? Obviously nothing to preview here. Where are the rest of the colors? Kind of interesting. These are three colors I always... I like the weapon and engine colors because they apply to all ships. I think that's neat. It's cheap. It's a simple add-on, and it works on every ship. It's interesting all it shows is white, though. I know there's other colors. Yeah, I've, I've stopped buying paint packs, because the minute you're not flying the Anaconda, all these paints are useless. I'm really enjoying some of the, like, name packs. Applies to all ships. Decals, yeah, it applies to all ships, but... Engines and weapons applies to all ships. I, I like that. Alright, well that's the Anaconda. Let's go look at the SRV. And options we have. Decals. Paint packs. Oh my gosh. Honestly did not know there were that many color choices. They're all packed, except for golden. <laughs> that's pretty funny looking. Kind of cool. Kind of weird. Wow, there's a lot. Oh. See, I've never actually seen these other than in YouTube. It does not appear to be loading these properly. Or is that it? I thought the I thought it lit up more than that. Interesting. Anyway. That's a nice feature. Uh, I'm not going to go look at all of them. I'm sure the rest of them work, too. All right. So, experimentation, experimentation time. I want to try out this hull repair. And one of the things I wanted answered is, can you repair the hull of a fighter? It doesn't make sense. They're disposable. They're meant to be tossed out. But is it possible? So, first things first, let's set fire group let's get crew make sure crew's active crew's active ah uh, obviously we have to cause some damage so i think the best thing to do is 
get away from the station, shoot at the fighter, and cause a little hull damage. I think that sounds like fun. Uh, inventory. I do have limpets. Telemetry suite. Where'd that come from? No idea. Alright. a little bit. Uh, one thing I want to look at is the new inbox. I am in single player mode so these aren't active at the moment. Filter. Hmm. Unread. That's kind of nice. I've read both of these. I still have not found a way to discern what's read and unread. They're both read, but again, I don't Quite sure if there's a way to discern the difference without the filter. Uh, the delete's nice. Just flip delete. It's kind of cool. Alright, station. Okay, we're clear. Get a little light up here. Okay, first things first. Let's deploy the fighter. I, if I turn off the shields, will my crew member turn them back on? That's a good question. Let's try it. Because I want to cause some damage on both sides. Damn, you're useless. What? Who's scanning me? It's weird. Okay, what were we doing? This. Deploy. I will take control. I want you to stay. Okay, did you turn on the shields? You did not. Hello. Let's see how mad it gets. I'm gonna try cause some all damage on this thing. Problems. Okay, 85%. We'll give that a shot. Yes, ship is under tech. Okay, so next thing's next. I, let's see if we can repair a pulse laser. It's funny, the pulse lasers take more than the shields. Yeah, did that on purpose. Helm, switch. Transfer successful. You stay put. I didn't ask you to go anywhere. You don't turn shields back on. That's interesting. Uh, yeah. Oh. I'd rather not. You're an indisposable fighter in telepresence. You don't need to get that angry. Alright. I have it targeted. Let's try a repair limit. It's quick. Uh, was that an accident? That is not an accident. Okay. Now supposedly you can repair yourself. I would assume with no targets chosen. Right? I don't know. Let's kind of want to see this thing. Good golly. Is it, is it attached to me somewhere? 
Is, is that it right there? I hear it. Repairing. 86, it is going up. Armor health. Hull, 87%. 88. That's not exactly fast. Already attached. Destructing. Oh. So what's the point of shooting three other than three different people, I guess? It has to be it, right? Must be it. Attached to the cargo hatch? That's got to be a repair limit there, huh? 90% repairing. All right, so I would assume when that little circle gets full, is it done? Successful. successful, but not done. Let's go on. I'm just curious. Does it actually like shoot out? Okay, so that was definitely it. Oh, it just wow. <laughs> okay, that is it. That's kind of interesting. I wonder how sheltered it is. 93%. So I was at 85. Uh, you can come back, by the way. Always fun to watch. We'll see how much two gets us repaired. Are you, are you, I wonder why it takes so long. I hear the sawing noise. It's kind of hard to hear sometimes. Bay doors closed. Hangar is secure, Commander. Every once in a while it makes a saw. Okay. So we're 97%. That's not bad, though. I mean, it's not fast by any means, but... Might be handy in combat if you got away for a little bit. Took a break. Sat there and stared at the screen for a little bit. It does repair. Uh, for exploration, I think it's fantastic because one of the new features, uh, synthesis, limpets. Oh, I can make some. Iron and tin. Ten. Interesting. So I have enough for two rounds, but still. Imagine you're out exploring. All you need is an SRV, some time, a decent planet with some iron and tin. Tin looks a little rare now that I'm noticing it. Um, but yeah, if you've got hull damage, you can fix yourself. That's pretty cool. Uh, so let's see, plasma munitions, limpets, large caliber, auto field maintenance. So between the auto field maintenance and the hull, you can kind of get yourself back in full working order. So chaffs are new. Two second duration. Oh, that's cool. So you got basic, standard, premium. That's kind of nice. Extra two second duration. Heat sinks. Five reloads available. Wowzers. Conductors, heat wiring, interesting. Definitely consumes a lot of materials. And life support. Iron and nickel. Interesting. 
need a lot, but theoretically with enough materials. I wonder how far you could get with a nice Class A life support. Anyway, well, it's pretty neat. It's a nice quality of life improvements, I think. Definitely makes exploring a little bit more feasible. What was I doing? I am turning this on. Tracked weapons. Let's get back to the dock. Docking computer. We're gonna shut you off because our shields are down. Pretty nice overall. So I think next time, maybe try some community goal missions. I don't know, we'll see. Yes. This docking. Man, they're. Is it me or are they passing by closer? Thank you. I got hull repair limits. Uh, it's underneath me. Let's see how gentle I can lay it down. Just enough. Anyway. Thanks for joining me on a quick tour of some of the new features of 2.4. I'll catch you next time.